Hey everybody. Clickety clacking with my damn headset. Oh, all the things are probably really loud, aren't they? Deafening. Now we'll play it by ear and see what it sounds like. Uh, this all looks lovely. So this is something a little different, something we haven't done in a while, something that I probably wouldn't mind streaming, but my internet's still kind of fuzzy. Anyway, this is Don't Escape, you have four days to survive. It's based on a series of games where you, the object, instead of being like an escape room, is to not escape. I think in the first one you're gonna turn into a werewolf, so you're trying to lock yourself up. So that you don't get out and murder everyone. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a one-man team? Uh, a Markiplier did uh, all of them, and that's how I discovered this and thought it was really, really neat. So yeah, we haven't done a point-and-click in a while. Not since... Uh, Oh, what were those ones with the uh, with Dupuy? Yeah, that stuff. I have a couple other ones I've been looking at, but we'll see. Anyway, this uh, this seemed like it would be a nice uh, in betweener type game. Shouldn't take too long. I like how the focus changes. It's got, it's got some nice. This game's got some nice tricks. So let's see what we got. Okay. A dapper gentleman. Left click and right click to examine kind of right. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I have to wait for it to highlight. Oh, I should do the Yahtzee's games, the Trilby stuff at some point. That would be fun. Uh, it's dark outside. A sturdy looking door. Well, what's at the window then? Oh, Jesus. Okay, bad end. What a nightmare. It all felt so real. Remains of a campfire. A sad pile of ash. It gets really cold in the desert at night. I can change to pixel. Let's see what pixel looks like. Oh, God. It looks okay in the capture. Not on my big screen. That's not terrible, though. I'm gonna go with smooth. I hope you don't hate me for it. It's just a lot easier to look at. Yeah. And it looks also fine on the capture. Backpack. My trusty backpack. I'm not going anywhere without. Well, I should pick that up then. Use the backpack item to access your inventory. Notice you have a limited carrying capacity. Okay. My old tent. Torn and damaged by wind. It won't be much use to me. I think this tent served me well long enough. It's too damaged to keep using it. I'll just leave it here. Campfire kept me warm through the night. There's nothing left of it now. So, oh, the moon! Broken into pieces. Shattered, just like all the dreams humankind ever had. Well, aren't you a morose sumbitch? You're gonna have 30 kilograms of stuff? Okay. Here we go. Ah, into the wasteland. Barren wastelands await. Oh, God. Okay. We in some kind of fallout thing? Oh. I don't look like like the look of this cloud. It seems to be moving this way. I think my nightmare may have been more than just a dream. I still have a couple hours, but I have to find a shelter. Fast. Use the journal to check your current progress. Well, there's no music anymore. Let's see how that does. Journal! It's been a while since I've written anything here. The world is dead, they say, so why even bother? I think the moon, what's left of it, is getting bigger every day. I had a weird dream last night. It felt so real. I was attacked by a swarm of giant bugs, or locusts, I don't know. All I know, it was painful as hell when they stripped the meat off my bones. This morning I saw something that looked like a dark cloud on the horizon. I know it's not really a cloud. The swarm is coming. I have to find a place to hide. Do I have saves? I have saves. Oh, well, that's easy. What well, this is made in? Okay. 
Oh, we can run. Neat. Well, there's no more dark cloud. Ruins. Sad skeleton of a building slowly consumed by sand. Old wall with a wooden shed. Yes, we'll go over there. I don't have time to walk around this wall. Gotta be a faster way to get to the other side. While your time is limited, keep in mind that it only advances with certain actions. You will be warned each time before that happens. When you find a hiding place and prepare it for the night, use the clock icon to finish the current day. There are 13 hours left. 7 a.m. So we have till 10 p.m. A small wooden shed with a squeaky door. I wonder what's inside. One particular wooden pole seems to be in good condition. If it was a bit bigger, I could probably get to the other side. I bet. Let's look in the shed. It's one big hammerhead. Too bad it doesn't have a handle. Tragic. Some actions require time to be completed. For instance, this wooden pole in the ground seems to be stuck. Pulling it out will be difficult. Some effort you should be able to get it out. It will take three minutes. Sure. You should probably do that. Let's pick up a hammerhead. Alright. Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's intuitive. I can drop it. Okay. That hole is a bit larger. I could squeeze. Okay. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. So now, 12 hours and 57 minutes. Stuff's noisy. Okay. So we just... Oh, you sledgehammer on hole in the wall. Oh, that's great. I love the animation in this. It's a big hole now. Further and oh. Some sort of quicksand. I'm too heavy. I should get rid of that sledgehammer. Drop an item with the thingamabobber. Oh, okay. Shift highlights dropped items. Cool. Big heavy hammer. Oh, now we're not sinking. It wasn't quicksand at all. Seems to just be travel. A vast desert lies ahead. It's a long walk that you have another way but to traverse it. This action will take 50 minutes. I mean, I can't really stay here. Got some credits for me? Hell yeah, you do. So something bad happened to the moon. Yeah, script well do, that's the guy. Person. Looks like a gooey cookie. He used to have those chocolate chip cookies filled with chocolate. I forget who made them. Keeper? Probably. They don't make good things like that anymore. So we have four days to survive. something to use for a hint. Well, this place looks promising. Okay. Path leads up to the hill to a decent looking farmhouse. Road leads west. Road leads east. Gas station sign. Presumably west. Twelve hours and seven minutes left. Let's go up there. Go on the rocks. There's a tree. There's a house. There's the moon. Uh huh. Farmhouse. Let's check the house. So we're in free time now until we find something that's like, hey, locked window, sturdy looking door. It's locked. It won't budge. Only I had a sledgehammer, dick. I don't know what my guy's name is. Water sprayer. It's empty. Greenhouse. A sad skeleton of a wooden greenhouse. Rotten planks are held together with some rusty nails. At least some of those nails could be recycled and used again. Sturdy looking door. It's locked. 
Okay. I could recycle some of the nails that hold this greenhouse together, but I need a tool for that. Rusty piece of junk. Sad thing is the tractor wasn't even old when the world ended. Months spit out in the open took its toll on this tractor. It's completely ruined. There isn't even anything to salvage. Pipes go out far, covering the fields around the house. Cover a lot of area. Surrounding the house with the irrigation system. Entry to the barn. Okay, well let's look in the barn then. Haystack. Wonder if there's a needle in it, you prick. Short metal pipe. Oh, surely we need to pick that up. Old pickup truck. I should find a way to get into that house before I start fiddling with things in here. It's kind of an emergency 24-7 now, so I'm really glad it's here. It's not running at the moment. Emergency power generator. Pesticide inlet. Used to add components like pesticides that are supposed to get mixed in with the water for the sprinklers. Water pump and irrigation control system. And so, controls the water sprinklers out in the fields. It also has slots for pesticide cans that can be used to add something to the water. It's disabled. We'll pick up truck. Okay. Well, let's grab the water sprayer. That's probably a thing. I thought it said it was locked. I'll have to break the glass if I want to get inside. Oh. I use the pipe. Well, now there's a breach. Dick. This place looks abandoned. Ah, there's an exclamation point on the journal. Staying here might be a good idea, but I only have a few hours to convert this ruin into a fortress before my nightmare catches up with me. You should look around and explore. That road sign's a good place to start. So go to the gas station and photo of an old lady. The photo of an old lady was taken years ago. The colors have faded a bit, but her warm smile is still clearly visible. Sorry, I'm just checking some things. I have external volume controls, but they don't affect the game volume. A painting of an old wooden hut. I think that's the first game, actually. It's kind of neat. I might show it off sometime. Container for fireplace fuel. It is empty. Fireplace is empty and cold. Only ashes from the previous use still scattered all around it. I also think the chimney's clogged. I don't feel any air draft. That's actually good news, at least for now. Storage chest. So just drop, drop stuff on the ground, it will not disappear. Hammer with a broken handle. That's heavy. Uh, might find something to let me fix it. I know I don't need this for now. Oh, this is nice. Yes, we won't have lights unless we do power. Electrical socket for plugging things in. Oven. Electric kitchen oven. Fridge has been sitting here without any power for quite a while now. Maybe there's something good inside it. Yes, I see the glowing. Fridge is empty. After such a long time without electricity, I'm relieved to know that. At the oven. I've opened the oven. I've also switched it on, but nothing happened. There is no power. That's fine. You do that. Why would you turn it on? I was just seeing if there was something was in it. House keys. Set the house keys for the front and back door. It's useless until I fix it. World seems to be full of broken hammers. Found an abandoned house that looks like a good place to stay. I should go out, explore down the road, and look for something to fortify this place with. Uh, do I have to use the key every time? Let's unlock the front door, too. House keys on door. Now can I look at them? Pick up, pick up the keys, you dick. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, what's upstairs? Broken window. Nice view around the wasteland with the moon hanging above like an executioner's axe. Hatch seems to be shut for good. I don't think I can open it. Well, you'll never know until you try. Huh. Well, there you go. It's locked and I can't find any means of opening it. It's on the computer. The screen is all cracked and the case seems partially burnt. This PC won't work. No door on the bathroom. That's alarming. Mirror, it's a bit dusty. Mirror's probably seen better looking faces. You are hideous, that's fair. There's no time to take a bath, unfortunately. Good old fashioned ceramic bathtub. No comment on the toilet, though, huh? Broken window. Nice view around the wasteland. Yeah, yeah, executioner's axe. Okay. There's nothing really exciting up upstairs. Let's go look at that truck. Go outside. So I assume we'll need the hammer to mess with the uh, greenhouse. Kick the hay! Oh, some serious big holes in the pipe. Okay. It seems to be dead. I think it's powered by that big generator. Out of fuel. Okay. How do I leave? There we go. About the car. The car seems to be bad shape. Without taking a moment to inspect it, you can't be sure what you need to be done, apart from finding a spare wheel, of course. Checking will take time. It's only 15 minutes. Yeah, that's probably important. That way we can look for stuff. Well, the car could be started, but it doesn't look very good. Obviously, wheel's missing, the ignition coil's busted, has no fuel. And music, calm down a little bit. Music, calm down a little bit. Jesus. Just gonna have to turn the game down over here. Probably not real extreme. Hang yeah, on one second. Okay, let's just check in some of the external audio levels. It's. It's not bad, but it is kind of heavy. Anyway, so. Wheel, ignition coil, no fuel. Is there anything good in it? Cargo box. There's nothing good in it. Okay, good to know. Okay, well, let's go check out the gas station then. Let's save before we do that. We have unlocked the house and looked at the vehicle. Gas, one and a half miles. Oh, shit. Fifteen minutes to get here. I didn't mean to click on that. I was just trying to look at it. Oh, God. The corpses are partially eating the swarm got them. Looks like these men put up a fight and killed a bunch of the insects. Let's stand a chance in the open. How did they kill the insects? Seems to be no blood anywhere, and the body's been partially eaten. Tiny bite marks cover the entire corpse. Clothes are in shreds. Could there be anything useful among the torn rags? Well, you're gonna poke it anyway. Something shines between the pieces of torn bag he was carrying. Strange remote controller in the corpse's bag. Sonic repellent device RC. Probably important. What's in the car? I have to take a closer look to check out this vehicle. Okay, do that. Oh. Booting the engine will take some time. Oh, I can find parts. It's 15 minutes, that's fine. Car's busted, so it's not going anywhere. One part that seems to be fine is the ignition coil, but getting it out won't be easy. I could remove the ignition coil from this car, but I need an adjustable wrench. An adjustable wrench! There's a small leaflet tucked between the folds of the ripped clothes. As of this week, we've been hired by locals to help deal with a new kind of locust terrorizing the area. Perhaps we'll finally use our sonic repellent device. It fends off different kinds of insects. You just have to install it in the ground, but before you can start counting on it, 
You have to know exactly what type of insects you're dealing with and set the right frequency with the remote controller. I know this job sounds exhausting and a bit dangerous, but at this point we need the food and fuel the locals are paying with. It's a small leaf. Oh yeah, we did that. Okay. This wrench was used to splatter a whole bunch of insects. Let's hope it'll be more useful to me than it was to them. Well, I want the ignition coil. Oh, I have to use it on there. Let's see, 45 minutes. We can always reset. Now we have ignition coil. Car wrecks, huh? Pest control truck. Beyond the repair, the back door seems to be locked. Seems to be. Back door's locked. if I use the wrench on it. No. That was this. Oh, my ignition coil. Ha ha ha. There's nothing else I can do over here? Huh. Alright. Anything else out here? And you didn't have anything else on you. Nothing useful. Oh, dead insect. Oh god. Okay. Jesus. We can't go to the gas station until we go to the bridge. Fine. A little shovel. Stack of planks. Can't take those planks with me, but they could probably be useful right here by the bridge if I had the proper tools. What about this little spade? God damn it, person. Now I have a wooden handle. Great. This car has been wrecked beyond repair. Maybe I could take its wheel off if I had a wrench. Which I happen to have. Sounds like something I should do. Fifteen minutes? Yeah, that's reasonable. Apart from almost falling off the cliff once, all went well. I got the wheel. Okay, so I can't... So I still need the proper tools. Well, I guess we'll just go this way then. Five minutes to cross the ravine. How much time we have left? Ten minutes. Nine hours and forty-seven minutes. Okay. I like the music. It's really nice. Gas station shop, eh? Oh, hi. Some colorful magazines full of nice bright pictures and newspapers full of dark ones. Bag of charcoal, if I ever happen to fancy barbecue, gas canister, maybe there's fuel in it. Hunting rifle would be really useful. A crowbar stuck in the cash register. Someone's opened the cash register with a crowbar. The tool seems to be stuck in the crack. Stand with small trinkets. Maybe it contains something better than expired chewing gum. Cash. Someone has stolen cash from the register, leaving some of it on the floor. There's a lighter here that could be useful. Yes. Hit the crowbar. Brute force. Crowbar seems to be really stuck in there. It might not be easy to get out with your bare hands. Can I use the wrench? Can't do that. Use the pipe? I don't think so. Not the wooden handle. What the hell do you expect me to use on? Well, I guess I'll just pull it out with my bare hands. Hunting rifle, huh? I mean... I have a hunting rifle and some bullets. Not a perfect weapon against those bastards, but it'll probably help. What else can I do to prepare? Apparently that was a good thing. Well, the gas canister's probably good. It's empty. Well, the container might be useful. Anything in here? Newspaper from long ago sits in the magazine stand. Lunar explosion. The world is still in shock after yesterday's explosion that has left our moon with huge cracks visible to the naked eye from Earth. Scientists say that while it may look dangerous, there's no need for concern. The cracks are surface level only, and the explosion will have no serious consequences. Oh god, it's moonfall. The cause of the event is still unknown. Many point to one of the world's largest tech corporations, Sidereal Plexus, that was rumored to launch a mining operation on the moon earlier this year. 
spokesman for the company has denied those claims. Yes, we were preparing to dig for helium-3 this autumn, but I assure you, we haven't even started. Now, of course, the whole operation is going to be halted until further notice, he adds. Other experts believe the explosion was caused by an undetected meteor that crashed into the moon. Whatever the case might be, the governments of the world urge people to remain calm. As they would. I'm really excited about the bag of charcoal. We're about half our weight right now. I mean, I guess I could take it. A little plastic wrap. Mostly for wrapping. It's a window net. It seems really strong. Metal bars. Heavy frame of metal bars. And a soda machine. Is there something under the metal bars? How heavy are we talking about? Oh, it's real heavy. Well, we'll just move them out here. I just want to make sure there's nothing under there. It doesn't look like it, but... God, these are heavy. Okay, it looks like there's nothing under there. I don't know how devious this game's gonna be. I'm just hedging my bets. Window. To the back of the gas station. It's plastic wrap. That's probably important. Seems really strong. It's heavy. Oh wow, the plastic wraps. Four kilograms? That's like ten pounds. That's a lot of fucking plastic wrap. For you, a small rock. How heavy are you? Fuel valves, where the fuel goes in and out of the tank. There's a valve from which the fuel should flow, but how do I open it? Gas can down. There's the wrench on it. Hey! That's a gas. Nice. Huh? Okay. Oh shit, now it's heavy. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, I took the whole dug I took the whole dead bug with me. Great. Uh, how heavy is it now? Ten kilograms. Bite me. I'll have to leave the plastic wrap behind. Or seven kilograms worth of other crap. minutes? Oh, because of all the shit in my backpack. Waste my time on that. Okay, so there's nothing else here. Back home, I guess. Okay. this stuff on the ground. I well, don't need to work on this right now. Okay, that takes care of that. Um, I'm gonna salvage there. Okay. I think I can use the crowbar on you. Ten minutes to get some nails. Okay. 
Oh, I bet I can use the crowbar to get inside that truck. Okay. Now, do you weigh it? You don't really weigh anything appreciable. Go to storage room. Okay. Da, 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 da. Put the rifle. I probably don't need that right away. You're heavy. Really dead bug. Well, I can't think of anything the crowbar can do that the pipe can do that the crowbar can't. I don't need you right now either. Okay. Time's a ticking. Now right, let's go back to that pest control van now that we have a pry bar. Should have gone to the gas station first, but I'm dumb. There we go. Oh, where's my this will take five minutes to do thing? My locker. Oh, I saw something on the hoses. Uh -huh. Can't mess with me, game. I've still got a crowbar. Can of pesticide. I think of no reason not to take that. It's locked. Weird device. Can't stop me, game. I've got a crowbar. Bite my nuts. Duct tape! Huh. I have everything I need. Yeah, I got all kinds of goodies. Okay. Well, let's make a save and see how things go. Be complete. Okay. So. We didn't look at the pesticide or the thing. Label says solid repellent device. This device is supposedly used to fend off bugs and insects. Label says it's a strong pesticide that's harmful to all bugs and insects, and life in general. I guess it should be used after mixing with water. Water resistant, strong, and durable. They say there isn't a thing that can't be repaired by using a lot of duct tape. If it can't be repaired, you're probably not using enough duct tape. Not wrong. What to do with this wooden handle? I need a new handle for the hammer. Okay. Oh, I just I fixed it. Okay, well, that's easy. I know some other things that could probably use some duct tape. Duct tape on the pipe. Five minutes. Dig it. Pipe is wrapped enough to cover up all the holes. probably fill it full of gas first. Fuel the generator. Now I just have to start it. Choked it, but it didn't start. The suspense! Got it. Okay. Well, he's a noisy bitch. Okay. Should cause the night sky to be soaked with a dense mist. Oh, I see, it's this puzzle. That's fine. I get the feeling I screwed this up when I started. I had it. There we go. Okay, sweet. So maximum efficiency. Oh, there's a reset button. Okay. Leave. Uh, where's my, my, my bug juice? Oh, I can put more. It's 
Schedule the water sprinkler to put out a wall of mist with some extra pesticide. So not just pesticide solution, but extra pesticide solution. Okay. Oh, click to finish current day. I mean, it'd kind of be interesting to see what happens, but... Okay. Yeah, you scratch your head. Um... Well, I can hide in the house, but then all the windows are broken. Plastic wrap on the window. Ah, okay, okay. I get it. It's just hanging there. I still should do something to attach it. Well, I lived in the Midwest in the winter. I don't have a staple gun. Nails seems a bit busy. 20 minutes. Duct tape. Do I have all the duct tape in the world? I seem to have all the duct tape in the world. Install plastic wrap on a window. So then there's the two windows upstairs, since this there's no bathroom door and there's no door there. Okay. Well, drop the device to set up. Oh, look at that. Oh. I wanted to look at it. Okay. Plastic wrap on a window. Put out the sonic repellent device. It should scare off some of the insects. Let's hope I have it configured to the right sound frequencies. Uh. Eh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Huh. I have no idea. Hmm. It's gotta be a user manual or something back in the truck that I screwed up and missed. Uh, what else do I need? I need the rest of the plastic wrap. I need to fill up my gas can again. Need the wrench, but just to be safe. How long would it take me to get some nails? Because I have a hammer now, right? I could take care of that path over the uh, ravine. How long do I have? Seven hours? Eight hours left? My god. We've got all the time in the world. Oh, I can't run to something I want to use an item on. Ten minutes. How many nails do I get? A handful of nails. I mean, rule of three? Build a makeshift bridge. Require one handful of nails will allow you to travel through the ravine without delays. You will still have to stop your vehicle here if you have one. It'll take an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. So now it's free to pass this way. Okay. I imagine there will be a lot of little time saver things that you use to make your life easier. Oh, I do need the wrench. I'm dumb. Oh, this is going to be, what, 18 pounds? Okay, we're good. That's satisfying. Uh, is there anything else I want to grab? I'm going to head back to the other place. I can't see the window netting being useful. Charcoal? Uh, I think 
so. Hours and 54 minutes. Okay. You had a pamphlet. Have anything useful on it? No. Back in the truck. <gasps> there is stuff on the wall. What's this? Sticky note. Bug pictures and labels on it. Okay, so that's what we set the thing to. What's our bug look like? So he's got great big toothy pinchers and wings. He's got six legs. He's got short legs, medium-sized legs, and really, really long pointy legs. Oh, did I keep the note? That's good. Okay, so these have really, really long pointy legs. Oh, the wings. Got flat wings, right? Yeah. Got flat wings. So that's this one or this one. So how do we interpret well he's got little little toothy mandibles, yeah? I mean it has to be It has to be two hundred, right? Because those are little teefers. Hmm. I don't like the distinction being that. Try two hundred though. Okay, maybe we can work on the car for the end of the day. Uh, okay. Try that. Seems happy. Window, duct tape. Okay. Nice to grab on the window. Duct tape. Ooh, I like how the the uh, ambient noise changed. All of the windows. Okay. How much time do I have left? Four hours. I work on the car. What do these broken planks look like. Don't make for good building material. Oh. I mean, I don't think it'll help with the bugs, but. I can put it in the kindling basket. I don't have to put the kindling. I don't plan on lighting a fire for now. Can I just drop it then? Alright, I guess. Let's not do that. Let's put it in the, uh. Put it in the storage box. Let's keep a nice, tidy place. I don't think we need the bug and the bug note. Keep the remote control just to be safe. Nails. Need the gas. Never know when we'll need more tape. I need tape on the truck. It's a happy little sound. Obviously, a wheel is missing. Mission Coals Buster has no fuel. 15 minutes with a wheel on? I've changed a couple of tires. I guess. Ignition? 15 minutes again. Huh. Yes. I fueled the car. Do I have the keys? I guess I do. Can't be reached by car. There's a broken bridge in the way. Can I get off this map? Oh shit! Wait. Oh, I clicked out. Kind of want. I mean, I've got 
three and a half hours. Let's see if I can build another bridge. Well, I want to fill up my gas can again, too, yeah? Door! With your chicanery. Is there more... Are there more nails I can have? Sure. There are no more nails left, just a bunch of rotten planks. Take my sick ass new ride for a for a spin. Four minutes. Four minutes instead of fifteen is pretty solid. Okay. Take two hours. Improve your makeshift bridge. No, I want to save before I do that. In case I end up not having enough time to do it. Because I'm happy with how the house is. I think we did a great job on the house. Let's make our bridge better. I bet if we do another one, we can drive over it. I notice there's a lot of boards left. 15 minutes left, my god. Three minutes. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're great. set up. All right. It'd be... Mm, use a prompt that's like, hey, do you want to use a gas can instead? Silly game. I like that you have to pick it up every time, too. Need these, but oh, stop that. That's handy. Oh, damn it. Back in there. Uh, I guess I'll grab the charcoal. How much is the netting? time to do anything with the netting, but who knows, maybe we'll need it tomorrow. Stop that. I'll fill up the gas can again. It seems having a full can of gas seems incredibly useful in this world. Seems to be the ideal solution to several problems. I wonder if you could just put gas in the pesticide thing. Just spray the little fuckers with gasoline. I've got a lighter! No, the game's probably not that suicidal. Okay. Keep the gas in the car. It's probably an intelligent way to do that. The hammer is heavy. Let's keep the hammer. Ah, sweet. Only six minutes to get back home. Nice. Uh oh. Something's wrong with the haystacks. Um. I guess we're good, yeah? I mean. I gotta get in on. Well, okay, so the. The fireplace is blocked. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to start a fire if the chimney's clogged, and I can't get up to the roof. Because I can't open that. Wait, am I stupid? There's no lock in the hatch. Uh, okay. 
I think that's adventure game code for come back later, idiot. Can't see how that works. Well, you put it on the edges. Huh. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's see what happens. Pick one item from your inventory that you would like to equip during the night. Cancel if you don't want to finish today just yet. Well, I mean, guide homeboy did pretty good with a wrench. There's the water sprayer, but I'd rather have the extra insecticide in that tank out there. Maybe we'll play with it. So you think you're ready. There are 200 insects. The evening sky darkens. A black cloud of the swarm arrived. You found a hiding place in an abandoned farmhouse. An automated sprinkler system kicked in as the swarm was getting near. Despite being old and faulty, the sprinklers worked perfectly, fully covering the air above the fields with a dense mist. As a result, 32 insects were stopped by the sprinklers. That seems like a pitiful amount. The water was saturated with a strong pesticide. For the incoming swarm, it was a deadly wall of poisonous mist. And that's more like it. The pesticide has killed 48 additional insects. You deployed the sonic repellent device to fend off some of the insects and drive them back into the wall of poison mist. It was placed near your hideout so the signal was strong. The device seemed to be set to the correct frequency, fending off 50 insects. My. The front door was closed, keeping away all the 14 locusts that would have entered through it. The back door was closed, keeping away all of the 14 locusts that would have entered through it. The window on the ground floor was covered with plastic wrap. The foil was attached to the frame with a lot of duct tape. Out of 14 insects that tried to enter the house through that window, 14 were stopped. The window on the upper floor was covered with plastic wrap. The foil was attached to the frame with a lot of duct tape. Out of 14 insects that tried to enter the house through that window, 14 were stopped. The bathroom window was covered with plastic wrap. The foil was attached to the frame with a lot of duct tape. Out of 14 insects that tried to enter through the house through that window, 14 were stopped. That's all of them. You fended off all the insects before they entered the house. Oh, weird flickering on OBS. There we go. You went to bed early and had a well-deserved rest, allowing you to regain some strength. Plus 5 kilogram permanent carry weight bonus. Sick. That's a big locust. Oh god, it's a big locust. Oh god, it's coming right for me. Well, how you doing, friend? Well, we opened the window last time, and that was bad. Try the door. It's locked. I don't have my inventory. I'll well, open the window then. The window's broken. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's just snow. That's not so bad. Okay, maybe it's a little... bad. What was that? The attic? Well... I survived the night only to have another weird dream. It was freezing cold. Frigid air was causing my lungs to turn into ice cubes. This is another prophecy. I have to find a way to warm up my hideout. If that wasn't enough, I think something just crashed into the roof. I have to find a way to warm up my hideout. Huh. Well, we did a good job, everybody. We've got more carry weight. And we've already got... Oh, a destroyed barricade. Oh, shit. That's not great. Sad remains my barricade. It served me well, but now it's useless. Oh, shit. Uh, I was kind of hoping the insulation would... Because, as I said, I live in the Midwest in the wintertime. Plastic on the windows and lots of duct tape. It solves many problems. Well, we have 12 hours left. Day two. When we must face the cold. You pansies! You don't know nothing about cold. You and your desert. Anyway. Let's call the adventure... Let's call it a day on the adventure. Let's play around. Okay, let's load our game. Where was it? 445. 
I think this was before I started fixing stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah, this is before I did the pesticide and stuff. Okay. Oh, uh, let's... Let's see how badly this can go. I want the water sprayer, though. Spray this thing a lot more. What? Oh! Oh. I'd be able to spray... Okay, I get that, but... Huh. Is the water sprayer just red herring? I thought you'd fill it up with pesticide. Do I not have the gas can? Oh, I bet it's in the other room. Can I hook the gas can up to the thing? No, unfortunate. Okay. Yes. Do that. Yeah, the initial blast of that did not do very much. Um, okay, gas up the thing. Start it. Start it. Oh, I know. Yeah. Now I'll have some lights on in the house. That'll help. Uh, I kind of want to try the netting, yeah? Let's get some nails. I don't know... I don't know if I can use the metal or the uh, netting with... with just duct tape. I know you can't keys on the on the crowbar. Damn it. Kind of funny that they gave you all these different options. Let's try one metal bar and one net and one nothing. Okay. So we do the net on the window. It's just hanging there. Can I duct tape it? I can duct tape it. I was say, I could probably nail it, too. It's just hanging there. Can I duct tape that? I can duct tape it. Okay. Can I put nails on it? Throwing nails at it won't work. I need a hammer. Oh, I didn't fix my hammer yet. Hammer and nails to attach the metal bars to the window frame. The same amount of time. Okay, and then let's do a metal frame that's not attached. Yeah. Because we know there's 14 bugs. I assume if it's open, just 14 bugs get in. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, I imagine, of course, the holes in these are way too big. Can I hide in the back of the van? That seems like the smartest idea, frankly. Yeah, you should. You really should. Okay, um... I remote control?
This is a stupid idea. Make sure it's the right bug. Well, I guess it should be the same thing here. Yeah, it's just gonna change. The actual bug would probably change. Can I shut the door? What happens if I save here? Hypotheticals we'll put down there. Can I end? I'm... Oh, I can't use the water sprayer. Huh. I guess I'll just use... I guess I could use the hunting rifle. Oh no, I went back to the house. Oh, okay. I really should just be able to hide in the van for the night. Like, what could they do to it? It's, it's an enclosed metal thing. Hmm. You don't seem to be concerned about food, either. Black Cloud, they caught you in the middle of nowhere. There was no chance to survive that. Oh. Covered your body. There are sharp teeth taking chunks of your flesh off from each of the hundred bites. The death was painful and slow, not worse of all. That was a painful death, just like your nightmare. Maybe you could have done something to avoid that. Oh, I like that it starts you right there. That's nice of it. Okay, so this is not... It didn't do anything here. Just put it down here. That way they get repelled before they get to the house, you know. Okay. Okay. You found a hiding place. You deployed the sonic repellent and found off some of the others. However, it's placed too far from the hideout, having no effect at all. Forty locusts would have come to the front door without the uh, sprayers. Okay. Some of the insects were let in. The window on the ground floor was covered with a strong net. And that was attached to the frame with a lot of duct tape. Okay, it stopped about 50% of them. Metal bars. It stopped about 10% of them. Metal bars were not attached. It... Stopped 5% of them? What is that? No, no, that's almost 10%. 8%. 8%. 125 insects entered the house. A crowbar was your last line of defense. You managed to knock down 20 insects with it. And then they ate me? Then they ate me. Okay. Well, I guess we did as good as we could have done. Oh, nice. The autosaves. Okay, cool. And then, so we'll be here on day two next time. That sounds good. I'll see you guys then. There's some more four days to survive. Presumably, there's three days left. It seems reasonable. It's nice when things make sense. Am I going to have to rebarricade this shit? I don't know. I'll worry about that tomorrow. Until then.